Hey, good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. Well, today I'm going to show you how I try to maximize the use of uh, the generator when I do have to run it occasionally. And today's a perfect example. So the sun is up there somewhere, but we have a pretty thick cloud cover and it's likely to stay that way most of the day and maybe for several days. So I'm going to uh, use the generator some today and show you how that works out and how I optimize it. So here's the solar ray, what it looks like this morning. I'm currently under paneled a little bit for my system. I've got more panels, but I'm going to have to increase my, uh, or change out my charge controller to a little bit larger. I'm kind of maxed out on the one I'm running and then run a little heavier gauge wire as well. And that's going to be coming up shortly. But in the meantime, going to have to supplement the amount of solar I'm going to get today. So to give us a baseline of what we're starting with, the battery bank 600 amp hours is down to 54%. And there's 5 amps coming in actually off of those panels. And that's not going to cut it for today. So we're going to fire up the generator. And let's see how many amp hours we got. 326 amp hours in there. Thirteen point three volts. And we've had point one eight kilowatt hours off of the panel so far. And it's just the start of uh, what I will capture off the panels today. And I already know I'm going to need some help. So we're going to fire that generator up right now. And this is the generator we're going to use today. It's a 14-year-old Honda uh, EU 2000 inverter series. Uh, what I've liked about this over the years is when you it has a couple of different modes. You can put it on that in uh, idle mode or it's a inverter mode where it will just uh, rev up to the amount of power needed. And we know we're going to run that. Uh, 30 amp Victron charger, so it'll just uh, crank up to run that efficiently. And we're going to put uh, one gallon of gas in this, which is about its capacity, but we're going to put exactly one gallon in and run it till it runs out and see how much we can boost up that 600 amp hour battery pack. So, just for those of you that are curious, that one gallon of gas today is $4.06 out here per gallon. So we're going to put $4.06 into that battery pack. Okay, we're back in the utility room. The generator is running. We've uh, got the Victron uh, cranking in 30 amps. And then I can look on the and see that we're actually putting 33 amps in, so you can see I'm just getting 3 amps. Oh, oops, I'm sorry, that's the wrong reading. That's the uh, amp hours in the bank. Okay, so 26 amps is what the uh, monitor shows is coming into the bank, and that's because the household is up and running at the same time, so we're drawing about 4 amps in our usage right now. So. Uh, hopefully the sun will peak out some throughout the day and and help with the, this generator. Uh, it kind of goes without saying that our ultimate goal is to never run the generator, but that's not always possible, especially out here where we can go uh, many days without ever seeing the sun. So on a day like today where I know I'm down into the 50 percentile range, I can kind of see the forecast. I kind of watch things closely. And today's going to be a good day to run the generator. And we're going to see how much that one gallon of gas will fill up these batteries. 
and there it is right now a whopping 1.5 amps coming in off those panels so uh, the sun will probably peek through a little he bit here and there but it's not going to be anything sustained today so Victron to the rescue and we're going to start our timer and we'll see exactly how long that one gallon lasts and we'll compare uh, the values that we started with on how many amp hours are in this battery bank what we end up with what the uh, state of charge is and that ought to be pretty interesting see what one gallon I mean one gallon it's still four bucks so you still don't want to be using the generator I mean I'm not using it for fun it's just to keep things going don't like it but as you all know that live off grid sometimes you just gotta buckle down and use some gas so we're gonna use as little as possible here and right here you can see this is what it looks like when the the sun peaks out real quick getting you know about 25 amps or so uh, to help uh, the charger and that's exactly why I am running the charger right now to take advantage of any little breakthroughs with the sun I'll get so this is not going to last long as cloudy as it is but every time the sun can make a decent appearance now I'm putting in you know 55 amps into the battery bank so I always try to you know run the generator in conjunction with hopefully some sun and now you can see clouds rolling back through and it's a pretty gray day out there so nothing consistent is going to come off of those panels so we'll check back in in a little while and see how it's doing okay checking back in at two hours and three minutes of charge time and there it is 28 amps coming in of course the sun's not going but have been catching pretty good sun so we've gone from 54 percent full to 70 percent which is pretty good but actually in the past couple hours there has been some good uh, sunshine breaks although now it looks like that's going to be it for the day but we're going to keep letting this run 13.58 is the battery voltage 29 amps got 420 amp hours so we've packed in a, uh, just about a hundred amp hours in two hours so that's pretty good right at two hours and the sun did pack in uh, 70 0.72 kilowatt hours so that was a little better than I thought I don't think we'll see much more than that from the solar panels so pretty much relying on the Victron now but the combo between the two should uh, put us up to a respectable charge for the day so yeah 70 percent two hours in it's going to be all right, I believe. So I will just mention that I have run the Victron uh, through the night for an entire gallon and have been able to achieve about 20% uh, into the battery bank. So if it was down to 50, I could in one gallon get up to about 70%. But since we have been uh, stretching that gas out with uh, a little bit of sunshine today I expect much better results and that's how I do it now I I really don't ever run it at night I keep a close enough eye on things to where uh, I know like today was a good day to go ahead and boost it up I'll be fine for days uh, and if I get some uh, good sunshine in between then you know I, I don't have to run the generator so the whole goal is not to run that generator and then if I have to I want to stretch that gas out as far as I can and that's that's how we're doing it so we'll see how far it goes and right at that two hour mark as well I just stepped outside just to show you what the 
sky looks like out here and and yeah that's the sunshine uh, you know there's a few amps coming in off those panels but it's darker behind us and it's gonna probably stay pretty dark and we're not too far away from that generator and you can't hear it and that's one of the things that I really like about that Honda too is when you do have to run it it's quiet and it's pretty efficient so we'll check back in when that thing runs out of gas and see where we stand but it looks like it's going to be a, a decent way to to use a gallon of gas okay checking back in we're at four hours and 38 minutes in we've got 510 amp hours into the 600 amp hour bank we started at 326 so we're coming up on having put uh, near 200 amp hours in it's still charging at 29.82 very little sun helping us out although I did get much more sun than normal which is why now the percentage of full is 85.2 percent full so it's doing uh, better than I expected it would today and that's why I uh, always try to coordinate these charging days uh, with hopefully sunshine and I got actually more sunshine than I thought today battery voltage now 13.61 so there we go, 85% full. Now on a normal charging day, I'd be happy with just getting up to 85% and calling it good. Uh, especially if the sun was gone, I would say that's good enough. I don't uh, necessarily try to get to 100%. But I'm going to keep letting this generator run. Uh, in the past, it has run about 8 hours on a gallon of gas. So uh, if that holds true today, which I have no reason to believe that it w won't, i got a ways to go and I might get to a, a full 100% when I was only starting at about 54%. So uh, next time I check in, it'll be after that thing runs out of gas. Okay, we're at 8 hours and... 57 minutes that generator is going to run out any second this is the Victron amp uh, app uh, which shows the voltage now 13.81 we're full I'm in there perfect timing the generator just ran out uh, this started reading about a hundred percent a few minutes ago um, all the way up 600 amp hours completely full there's the battery voltage now it's under load but 13.5 got up to 100 percent in exactly nine hours is what that is what that took so uh that was surprising i right? heard 853 on this so that generator just ran out. I just happened to be back here knowing that it was getting close. I could hear the generator skipping a little bit. So one gallon of gas in that Honda generator, eight hours, 54 minutes. And just by chance, I never did think I was going to get to 100%, but it turned out to be a pretty good, uh, or not a pretty good, but you know, better than I thought was going to be sunshine day. So there it is, 600 amp hours, completely full. That's the load being taken down on it right now. There's a few things running in the house, four amps coming off of it now. And 599.9 amp hours, so that's as full as it gets. Now I will say that the Victron charger was going to go ahead and try and do that slow finish that it likes to do. Uh, no more amp hours to be gained, but uh, the, the purpose of t uh, today's test was just to see how far that one gallon of gas would go. Um, just to refresh, we started at 326 amp hours in the battery bank. 
uh, we have 600 now and we started at 54% full so yeah very happy and I'll show you just what I got on the uh, MT50, MT50 here that I did get 1.09 kilowatt hours off the panels so that was a little more than I expected and that was what the difference was being able to get up to a full uh, there's only been a couple of other times that I have ever uh, run uh, the generator from, you know, all day long for one gallon. Uh, and a couple of times at night I tried it just to see what it would do. And it usually would push about 20% into this battery bank. So with that little bit of added sunshine today, uh, what, what was that? I got about... 40, 46%, so more than double what I'm accustomed to. So that was great. That was the difference with the sunshine. So anyway, that was a real fun test. It, it exceeded my expectations. I didn't think I'd make anywhere near 100%. One gallon in that generator, nine hours basically of run time, and I'm as full as I possibly can be. All right. Thanks, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this one. Aloha.